I don't know what's going to happen, and it's it's fun to kind of watch this from the outside. Although I can't listen to him talk. Oh no, anymore. no, he's horrible. He's horrid. I, I mean, there's nothing. And, he's, he's not saying anything. He hasn't said a billion wrong, times. Wrong. Over. He said something new. <laughs> oh, did he say something? He new? He said something new on oh, Wednesday. I got to listen to this. Right. This sounds good. And, 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 and he'll explain it. And I don't think we have to give anything more okay. than the setup to Donald Trump speaking. In Pennsylvania, okay, as yeah. you'll hear, All the right. place that he went to school. Oh, he yeah. He must know Penn, oh. just like I know Ohio. Sure. Because I, well, actually, I know Ohio, but Pretty I actually grew up in grew Ohio. Up there, so I, I knew, but you know. I, I could converse oh. fairly well Trump about was, yeah. sports Trump in Ohio. Watches the, the, he watches the Pennsylvania shows. He sees the Pennsylvania yeah. people. He knows all about it. Right, right. So here is Donald Trump in Pennsylvania on Wednesday. I went to school in this state, right? We know that, right? So. I know, I know a lot about Pennsylvania, and it's great. How's Joe Paterno? Are we going to bring that back, right? How about, how about that whole, how about that whole deal? Okay. I'm, so, I'm sorry. He was reading that. He was looking down at a sheet of paper while he was going through these things. Mr. Paterno. Coach Paterno. Yeah, how you doing? It's good to be talking to you guys. How are you guys doing? Oh. Everything okay down there? All right. We were going to wait till our next podcast because uh, the next one is our weekly conversation with Satan. Ah! Where are you? I mean, I'm up in Evelyn and St. John's Keys down there in hell. I mean, that's the, oh, the, that's uh, the whole your situation. Your assistant coach, the guy. Oh, that's yeah. The... Yeah, I was able to get him down there in hell. So it's not a problem. I'm good. I'm everything's but, but good. Now, it, it, is, isn't he in prison right now? He's, oh, there, but he's he, not he, eligible yet. For... He'll be down there and, and good enough. See, I don't even know who's the dead. Trump doesn't know you're dead. I don't you know, know Sam Dusty's alive. You see, it's hard to keep these things going that way. I, see? I mean, I understand Donald Trump's a good man. I. I Look, if you guys ask me how I feel about Donald Trump, I'm... I'm well, a, you heard what he said I the sure other did. day. Yes. He, he wants to bring you back. He should. I mean, they should bring... I'd love to come back. If, it, you know, I was fired. I didn't, you got the same agent? I got... Yeah, go ahead and call me up there, and I'll go ahead and I'll come back. It was, it was thought that for many, many years, you didn't make a gigantic salary like some other no. coaches. You were offered jobs other places. But I you, need no. You wanted to stay at Penn State. You never made more than $15,000 a year. Exactly. Coach, right. Right? You lived I, in a small house. I got three corned beef sandwiches a year from Snooky's on the corner. That's part of my deal, and that was all I need. I didn't need like a lot of money. I didn't need three million, four million. So you would come back. Penn State football has kind of Look, regenerated itself. A since dead you've been me here. is better than any live guy that they've had at Penn State since I've been gone. Sorry, Bill O'Brien, but I'm telling the truth here. I mean, I'm gonna come back. Everything's gonna be fine. Let me just say this. Hey, have have you had uh, lunch with any of your uh, fellow legendary coaches of your era? The yeah. last few years. Well, we, we saw it. Like, Dean Smith came up here last year. We had a really nice conversation. It was very good. Bear Bryant's over there. Really? really? Oh, Bear Bryant's good. He still go. wear that houndstooth hat? He still wears it all. So you don't have to wear it anymore. Everybody's all No, no, he continues to wear that all thing. You know, we got so, uh, Woody Hayes. I think your old friend Woody sure, Hayes sure, up here. You sure. know, everybody, everybody hates his ass. He's a terrible guy. You know, got a lot of guys up here. You know, a lot of the great legendary coaches are, uh, just hanging out. We all. Is, like, is Newt Rockney? New Rodney's up here, yeah. New, new made it. He made the, the uh, whole the whole cut and everything. Right. And we we have lunch on a Tuesday. Every Tuesday we get I get I, the corned beef it, sandwich. I get the cream soda. It's really fantastic. Doctor Rounds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that, yeah. you know it. That's the one I sure, always get. Sure. But I wanted to right. say that I am four square behind the uh, Trump campaign. And it's not just because he mentioned no. you in a pandering way. Oh, no, you, you, li- you like what Trump says. You like what he brings to the 100% he's going to make America great again. I, I think we need a guy in there who's white. I mean, a guy who's in there with confidence now, apologize to everybody. A lot, a lot of people think that Pennsylvania is Philadelphia on one side, Pittsburgh on the other yeah. side, sophisticated, well-educated, right. and then it's Alabama in oh, the middle, which of course right. would bring you to the idea that yeah. we're State College, Pennsylvania, is yeah. where you coached, is kind of like being in Alabama. People always look down there and know it's not. It's maybe Mississippi. It's not Alabama. I mean, it's not. You know, we we, we got a little ways to go before we get up to Alabama status. But people always enjoy me. And I enjoyed them, and you know, I think Donald Trump. I don't get involved with the whole politics thing. Just like you know, I didn't get involved. By the way, good on North Carolina. I understand you guys are doing something about the bathrooms and stuff down there. Is that right? 
Uh, I really don't want to talk about that, right? That's, eh. that's, it's not that important. Well, I had it's some not, problems, you know, with the bathroom situation up at Penn State. Well, I don't know what well, to do. So, so believe me, a law that yeah. we have in North Carolina would have done nothing. Sure. Nothing to do with what went on eh. in the locker room eh. at Penn State University I, in football for 20 years. I still it had give nothing that guy, to do uh, Scotty McCreary, whatever your governor's name is, I still give him huge props. Scotty prop- McCreary, yeah. yeah, yeah he's nice. good. I mean, he does a good job. He's trying to make sure, uh, well, you know, that the presidents hey. don't get in there with the little boys. I got one last thing we got to run here. Better than what I did. What do you think of Johnny Football? Oh, God, why did you have to ask me about that guy? <laughs> I like to take that guy, put him over my knee, and just spank the hell out of that kid. I don't even know what's going on. They said he was... As long uh, as it's you and not Coach Sandusky, because oh, I yeah. know he'd really That's like That's a friend. little different. He wouldn't use a belt. No, uh, you, you, Johnny Manziel, is, uh, I think he's a good kid, you know, at heart. So you think that a kid like that, with the right coaching, yeah. taken under their wing... That's right. He could be rehabilitated. He could be turned into a me. great NFL star. You listen to me. You get Johnny Manziel. You get him with a coach like a Bear Bryant, Bo Schimbeck, or Woody Hayes. Right. That kid straightens up and he becomes a real citizen. You, me. You put him under Joe Pop. Put him on Penn State. Put him with the, 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 you know, the prison attire we used to wear for uniforms. We could have that guy throwing Pat being a productive member of society. No time flat. I mean, right. that's what we did. Hey, give my best to your wife. Betsy. Oh, I love her. And and like, you know, you can bang anybody you want to up here, too. And people don't know that about heaven. I, th- I keep really? telling them. I say, this is a great, it's a great selling point. You guys should say that. You don't have to just have sex with your wife anymore. I saw in the news yesterday yeah. that for the first time in 34 years, Robert Wagner has spoken about the death oh, yeah. of Natalie Wood. Have sure. you seen Natalie Wood? Oh, She's ju- is looks, she as beautiful as she ever just was? Just as beautiful as she did look in West Side Story. I sometimes, like on like a couple times a year, she'll put on the uh, dress and she'll do this. She'll start. She yeah, she does the singing. I feel pretty. Yeah, oh, so pretty. But of course, she didn't do the singing in the movie, so it sounds like shit. But she looks great. I mean, she looks fantastic. Okay. Very, very fuckable. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, a very uh, uh, good looking uh, girl. Thank you, Coach. Thank you very much. Go Penn State. Joe Paterno. 